I just feel like when you look at these two teams, all right, let's call the offense defense for Alabama offense, North Carolina defense a wash. There's a pretty big advantage here for North Carolina's offense against Alabama's defense in this one. You are looking live at VSIN Prime Time. Live from the Circus Sportsbook in downtown Las Vegas, here's Tim Murray and Jonathan Von Tobel. The nightcap in L.A. will pit Alabama and North Carolina. Uh, If you like points, sit back and enjoy this one. Another astronomically high total uh, with an Alabama game. 172.5, I believe, was the close Alabama uh, College of Charleston. That flew over the total 109-96 final score. Alabama winning and covering. And then in the second round, a little more clunky. Alabama shooting just 8 of 31 from 3 against Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon shooting just 2 of 20 from three and missing 14 free throws. And uh, that game goes well under the total North Carolina, you know, got to give them credit, right? They went down early against Michigan state and then just dominated them from there on out, North Carolina or Michigan state. I should say was a a little bit of a trendy underdog play catching four. You saw the market move against them. They win that game. UNC did 85 to 69. I believe Hubert Davis now unbeaten against the spread at North Carolina, remember, made the run to the national championship game just two years ago, losing to Kansas, but covering that number, JVT. 173.5 is the total. For those who are wondering, Ken Palm projects us 86-84, so that would slightly be to the under in this spot. The point spread is four. Um, I-, I can't wait to watch this one, JVT. I think the guards could put on a, a show. Mark Sears, a guy that can light it up uh, any single night. And R.J. Davis can do the same. We saw a number of times so far. Uh, No bet for me yet on this one. Could be a game to live trade just because of the volatility and the high total of this game and the swings that we could possibly get. Yeah, I I feel pretty chalky in this round so far, but I I think to me it's North Carolina or pass. So, you know, look, we know Alabama's very good on offense. We also know North Carolina's the sixth best defense in the country as of today. We also know Alabama defensively, Tim, 277th in the country in defensive turnover rate. They're not going to gain extra possessions. 244th in the country in defensive rebounding. That's pretty tough against a pretty good rebounding team in North Carolina. 327th in the country in free throw rate of opponents. You're going to put opponents at the free throw line. North Carolina, of course, can force that issue as a good free throw shooting team as well. I just feel like when you look at these two teams, all right, let's call the offense defense for Alabama offense, North Carolina defense a wash. There's a pretty big advantage here for North Carolina's offense against Alabama's defense in this one. One last rebuttal, though. Not to say that I'm playing Alabama. You mentioned that Alabama doesn't turn opponents over. UNC even worse at turning opponents over at 14.8% of those... uh, of those possessions so could that lead us to getting to the over very high total 173 and a half gonna be a lot of possessions upwards of 80 in this game